Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books. August 25th. There are many adversaries. For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. 1 Corinthians 16, 9. As long as we are in this world, adversaries will beset us. The question is how to deal with them. Some believe in compromise and try to agree with those who are against them. Others quarrel and fight with their enemies. But to us has been given a sacred task. Let us continue on with our mission and allow the Lord to take care of our accusers. The prophet Zechariah saw Joshua the high priest clothed with filthy garments, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. No doubt Satan was doing his utmost to discourage the high priest. He always makes a special attack upon the leaders of God's work. Those who stand in the sacred office are his special target. He was telling Joshua that his life was too sinful for him to occupy a sacred office that he should not attempt to help others while his own life was so sinful. Joshua recognized his insufficiency. As he looked at his own righteousness, he felt unworthy and was about to give up in despair until the Lord appeared and told Satan to leave. Joshua was wise to let Christ deal with Satan. The Savior knew the tactics of this wily adversary. He had witnessed the beginning of Satan's rebellion in heaven, where he had sowed discord among the angels. As Christ encouraged Joshua, so he says to us today, It is true that you are clothed with filthy garments, but I have come to provide you with a change of raiment. My robe of righteousness is now to be yours. I have taken away your sin so that the adversary can no longer rightfully accuse you. I have also reserved for you a place among the victors. The Lord has already defeated the enemy, so let us quit fighting and let our advocate deal with our adversary. <laughs>